Hello, I'm Natsuki Kumagai, a violinist with the Minnesota Orchestra. And I'm Sam Bergman, a violist with the orchestra. We're here at Orchestra Hall, our musical home in downtown Minneapolis. We're coming to you today to address a devastating situation that is impacting communities and people all across the country. The United States has experienced a surge in attacks on people of Asian descent over the course of the pandemic with nearly 3,800 anti-Asian hate incidents reported over the past year. Minnesota has been in the top half of states reporting these incidents, which have involved everything from racist language to brutal violence. Many more attacks against Asians go unreported or are ignored by the broader community. And this week, a white man gunned down eight people outside of Atlanta including six women of Asian descent, a horrific crime that is reverberating through Asian communities the world over. Minneapolis knows all too well the immense trauma that racism and violence against people of color inflict on a community. All of us who make our living in orchestral music know as well the burden that is shouldered by our colleagues of Asian descent who often face discrimination, hateful rhetoric, and now the threat of physical attack. We at the Minnesota Orchestra condemn all acts of violence, hate, white supremacy, and xenophobia against the Asian, Asian American, and Pacific Islander communities. But this is not enough. We, the people of the city of Minneapolis and the state of Minnesota, have an opportunity in front of us to take responsibility where we have fallen short far too many times. In addition, we must commit ourselves to calling out the all too common acts of racism that plague our community and our nation. As someone who has experienced anti-Asian bigotry over the past year, I am all too aware of the marks that are left by such attacks, whether verbal or physical. We must do better, and we must stop expecting change to happen without every one of us being responsible and making it happen. Most of the time, we musicians look to music to be our voice, but the present circumstance compels us to join together with our colleagues, our friends, and our community and speak out against racism and violence. Thank you for standing with us.